Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you a new project, which is my new and hopefully improved single phase generator. I have set up; it is already running. Uh, you've seen this uh, this dry side already. This setup is made so I can uh, test a lot of configuration on this end. It is a 12 pole generator, and I have the running now a 12 pole rotor. Uh, I'm running now on 9 volt DC at yeah, let's say 700 milliamps at this moment, and the RPM. Let me measure that in a second or two. RPM is now. Oops, sorry about that. Wrong button. Yes. RPM is now 1512. I don't have any coils in there yet, but uh, I've designed it so I can use this coil I had for so long. They will slide nicely over the core in there, like so. And the gap between the rotor and the uh, core of the coil, yeah, it's around. Uh, what was it again? I think it was nine millimeter difference. And if you put the coil like this, you can see that I have a little bit of the uh, core sticking out, also like three millimeter. Not a spectacular, just a set. Not a set. A simple test. Show you from this side. Yeah, it is working pretty good. Have a little bit of a bearing issue over there, making a little bit a uh, knocking sound. Not much. Those things happen. Uh, another update. I was going to show you folks this rotor running. This is the 24 magnets 12 pole rotor. But I had a little bit of accident. I put it on here. I was driving it around 1500 RPM when some of the magnets came loose. A few slammed into this capacitor. I hope you can see the dent in there. It was uh, behind there, like I have the rest of them. So, uh, pretty bad. Some magnets also smashed on the here. This uh, piece of wood was completely blown off. I have also a dent over here in the isolation on the pipe so yeah that was pretty dangerous the thing is I did not expect the magnets to uh, fly off because this is purely steel and I didn't have that issue when I was using this one for the dynamo I drive this I drove this at around 3000 rpm and nothing came loose but then again in this rotor the magnets are uh, position sideways and as you can see over here I have now not 24 of these magnets but only 22 you can count it yourself this is the rest of the uh, other two they were completely shattered so yeah that is on oops on hold for now the dynamo is also coming pretty good I have a new and uh, hopefully improved version of it you're gonna see it, I think this week uh, this capacitor, yeah, hopefully it's still working. Have to test it. It's a shame because they are really good capacitor, which I bought some time ago. Um, let me stop this. I'm gonna shut it off. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I need some space, some time. Some extra room would be nice. Let me stop this so I can show you a little bit better. It is running pretty good. 1500 RPM at 9 volts at uh, 700 milliamps is what? Uh, 9 at 7, uh, around 6 watts. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Let me check it quick. 9 volts. Yeah, 6.3 watts. Not bad. Here's a closer look of this uh, new uh, single phase generator of mine. As you can see, I built it and designed it 
and uh, the vintage vase which I always liked the corking effect is there of course but it's not that bad at this moment as you can see over there yeah I will put a picture at the end of the video picture two one from each side okie dokie next so I will have to just put the coils in there like this they slide on pretty good uh, make sure of that when I uh, made it and designed it so we'll see how that goes uh, hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching